Hello, I'm David Gerard, and this is Pivot to AI. Today, does using AI make you dishonest? Here's a new paper in Nature. Delegation to artificial intelligence can increase dishonest behavior. So that title, that headline, appeals hard to my prejudices and probably yours too. I'm seeing people link this paper as evidence that chatbots make you dishonest. And it's not really a good proof. It's not good evidence. So I've got to talk about it. Remember, if you love a headline a whole lot, you need to check if the text is actually good. So first, it's an AI paper in Nature. That's a big red flag. Nature runs a lot of abject trash on AI these days, in the news part as well as the journal itself. And this is not a great paper. They make hand-waving excuses for mild results, and the references are anything they could chuck in. So the researchers wonder if delegating tasks to AI leads to dishonesty, and if they can measure that. Quote, We consider how machine delegation may increase dishonest behaviour by decreasing its moral cost on both the principal and the agent's side. Unquote. That word may turns out to be a get out. Are people more likely to cheat if it's the chatbot cheating for them? I mean, that's a plausible hypothesis? So they test it. They use a dice rolling test. The test subjects roll the dice and they report the result. The subject gets more money or points for a good result. And you test them answering directly and you test them answering via a chatbot. There's also a test on reporting income for a tax return. The paper claims a strong result. Quote, Our results establish that people are more likely to request unethical behavior from machines than to engage in the same unethical behavior themselves. Unquote. But then they start making excuses because the effect is actually pretty mild. Quote, this does not necessarily mean that people are more likely to request unethical behavior from machines than from humans. Indeed, we observed no meaningful differences in the natural language instructions sent to machines versus humans in the die roll protocol of study three, and only small differences in the natural language instructions that participants sent to machines versus humans in the tax evasion protocol of study four. Unquote. So it's a strong result, except it isn't. They just admitted it really isn't, and the splashy headline claim is weak at best, if it's even true. Also glaringly absent, the researchers don't list the actual prompts they gave the chatbots, apart from a few phrases. The references aren't so great either. For a claim that chatbots can be malicious, they cite an unreviewed preprint on the archive from our AI doomsday cultist friends at Apollo Research. They cite the debunked study claiming emergent behavior from chatbots when the bot could supposedly do stuff it wasn't trained on. The paper is very much about chatbots, but they pull in any economics paper about automation or algorithms or cheating they could find. It fills out little blue numbers, you know. So every time you see a headline this good, you've got to check it. That's a great headline. I like it. Too much. But this paper doesn't really prove it. And I recommend you do not link this paper. Thanks for tuning in to Pivot to AI. If you want to keep seeing Pivot to AI come out with new episodes every day, we need your support. Just $5 into the Patreon linked in the show notes below helps us keep going. If you're on YouTube, I've got memberships set up, so hit the join button if that's more convenient. Also, members get videos 10 minutes early. But David, you say, I don't have money. That's fine. I don't either. Just tell other people about Pivot to AI. Word of mouth is the best algorithm. But also, hit like and subscribe and leave a nice podcast review. Spread the word. Thank you all.
you make Pivot to AI possible. See you later, and bye for now. Thank you.